something laid on my heart that I really feel like God is wanting me to share. So here it is. Here, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go with it. I'm gonna go for it. I don't feel comfortable doing stuff like this, but I'm gonna do it. So, you know, whatever. <laughs> um, so for the past, I would say month, um, I have been having the phrase or the idea, the concept of set your mind on things above repeated to me over and over and over again, whether it was in um, a Bible study I'm at or just um, a book that I've been reading or a sermon or just a regular message or a podcast I've been listening to. And it's not that that's the main topic of what the speaker is talking about. It's just like that is an implied concept on what they're speaking on. And I I kept like, you know, realizing that, oh yeah, set your mind on things above or um, put your thoughts higher, or, like think of things above, um, look to things above, that, that whole, all those different phrases, all basically saying the same thing, kept coming up and up and up. And I was like, what is going on? And usually, you know, when something is repeated, it's probably God getting your attention and trying to tell you something. So I started praying about it and was like, okay, like, God, I don't, I don't understand really what um, you're trying to tell me. Like, I understand, set your mind on things above. Um, that phrase is actually from in Colossians 3. Um, and it's talking about putting on a new self in Christ. So I even went to that. And I read that and I was like, I just don't, I understand that. I understand what that um, book is saying, but I didn't understand in terms of my life, how to, how, what, why God was trying to talk to me through that. So last night, um, I was reading a book that I've been reading and I don't know what it was. It was, I wasn't even reading anything about this. My, you know, like your mind's like subconsciously thinking. I don't, my mind just does that. I don't know if yours does. Mine does. I may be crazy. I mean, who knows? I probably am. <laughs> After this year. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. But it hit me. It just really hit me. Like, it was like I had an epiphany and, like, the light just shut off in my mind. And I was like, oh, my gosh. So I grabbed my journal and started writing because it was, like, kind of late at night. And I didn't want to make this video up late at night. I also looked funny. But it's, <laughs> it's whatever. <laughs> um... <sighs> And it just hit me. It just really hit me. So I'm really excited. I'm, I'm, I'm wanting to share this. I don't, I don't know about you guys, but whenever like God tells you something and you're like, oh my gosh, this is so good. Like, this is so good. So I really just wanted to share it. I don't know if it's someone like needs to hear it that knows me or if it's just like someone needs to have the blessing of seeing me so excited about what God's doing. I don't, I don't know, but I'm going to share it because I feel God telling me to share it. So, um, in 1 Corinthians, it says, God is not a God of confusion, but a God of peace. Keep that in mind, because he's not. He's a God of peace, not confusion. And in this pandem pandemic, and just in this year in general, it's been so, so easy. Like, as easy as blinking your eyes to look around you and to see all the people hurting and all the people suffering and all your circumstances that are just going bad. It's so easy just to focus on those things. And I am not desensitizing the suffering and the loss and the horrible effects of this pandemic that has had on people. I'm not desensitizing that. Um, I understand that it is, it is a big deal and I'm not, I'm not trying to water that down at all. But it is so easy to become overwhelmed with all of this confusion and chaos. And we are, we've become such an overwhelmed and anxious people. And, you know, we're becoming, we're afraid. We're having high anxiety. Um, and we're just waiting for an answer. We're really just waiting for an answer. And again, I'm not desensitizing what's going on in our world. I know it's bad. I'm not desensitizing it at all. But, you know, 
we're, we're just waiting for an answer. We're looking for an answer. And it's like we're just climbing out of this hole and we can't figure out what's going on. All the chaos and the confusion. And you know why? It's because we're focusing on the things going around us. We aren't looking to God. God says he is a God of peace, not a God of confusion. So that confusion isn't from him. It's not from him. Because if, if we're focusing on him, we would be at peace. We would be at bliss. Pure bliss. And that's just like such a... It just feels so good to know that. But, so in Colossians 3, it says, Set your mind on things above. Sorry, I keep looking down because I have my notebook right here. That I wrote everything down because I wanted I wrote so much last night. I was like, I have to I have to tell people about this. But um then later on in Colossians 3, you just keep going down the verses. It says, "The let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts." It really says that. It really does say that. I'm not lying. <laughs> I'm not lying. It says, "Let the peace of God of Christ rule in your hearts." Right after a few verses it, before, it says, set your mind on things above and let that peace of Christ rule in your hearts. Again, he is not a God of confusion. He's a God of peace. Ha, oh, so good. Okay. Anyway, then a few verses down from that, it says, let his word dwell in you richly. Wow. Because... You can look to God. That's that you need to look to God. Like you need to focus on God. But reading his word and reading the things that he did in the Bible, that Jesus did in the Bible, all the amazing things. And reading the circumstances that the disciples were in or other people that God used for good, the circumstances they were in, he turned into beautiful masterpieces. And I'm sure in those circumstances, they were probably like, okay, what's going on? Like, I don't, I don't know God. What's like, I don't know what's happening. And then, yeah, they were probably confused. <sighs> but they set their mind on things above. And God turned their circumstances, their hardships, their trials into good. How, how awesome is that news? How relieving is that news? And also, in John 16, 16.33, Jesus says, You will have trials and you'll have tribulations in this world, but take heart because I have overcome the world. How awesome is that? Because if you're like me, I'm very anxious. If you know me, I get overwhelmed really easily. Like, I'm all over the place. As you probably can tell, even in this video, like, I'm crazy. Not not actually crazy, but a little bit. Um, and it's so, so easy to just get so anxious and worried. Like, oh, oh I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm not six feet apart from you. Or, oh, I forgot my mask. I gotta run back. I gotta run back and go get it. Or, oh, let me sanitize. Like just, and that's just the pandemic. I'm, I promise I'm not desensitizing at all. I'm so sorry if that offends you at all. I, I sincerely think those precautions are very important. But, and I think everyone should take these precautions, but we become so anxious and overwhelmed with all the things with our daily lives, having to think, oh my gosh, like, did I put Germex on after I just touched that? Or like, it can become so like, oh my, like, did I, what if I have it? Or like, what if I share it to my, my family and my friends? And it's just so overwhelming and we're waiting for an answer and we don't understand. We're just, again, we're climbing out of this hole and we can't get out. Because we're looking around us. Because we're not setting our mind on things above. <sighs> anyway, there I have so many more things to say. But this video is almost 10 minutes long. So I'm just going to stop it. But let me let me just close with... God God just told me to say this. Like, I don't, I don't even know what I'm saying right now. But <sighs> if you watch this video and you're like me... There's so much dust floating around here. That's awful. Sorry, I just saw it. But if you're like me and you're just so anxious and overwhelmed and confused and you're just kind of like not doubting God or questioning God because we trust him. But it's like, God, I don't know what's happening. Like, what is going on? Like, why, why, why are my loved ones getting sick or why can't I see my loved ones or I want to see my friends. I feel so isolated. And we've just become such an overwhelmed people. 
And the reason behind that is because we aren't looking to what we should be looking to. Again, not desensitizing what is going on in our world today, pandemic related or not. There's so many awful things happening. But if we look to Jesus, the light of his mercy and grace and power and glory, just look to him. You know the song, Turn Your Eyes Upon Jesus. If we just look to him. In the song it says, the world will grow faint, faintly dim or faint and dim. I don't know the lyrics. Not, not like that, but anyway. <laughs> the world will grow dim if we just turn our face to Jesus, turn our eyes to Jesus, look to things above. I'm not, again, Jesus told us that we're going to have trials in this life, that the world is going to be hard. We're going to face persecution. <laughs> but, but, then there was that conjunction. But God, but Jesus said, I have overcome the world. And through that scripture, you can let it dwell richly in you. Read your scripture, read your word, learn about what God is doing, what God did in the Bible and what Jesus did and what he could be, what, what's reflecting in your life. And let that peace of Christ well in your heart be in your heart because god is not a god of confusion but a god of peace like how beautiful is it when the dots just connect all right i'm done um i hope you have a great rest of your day if you watch this whole video thank you um i hope that this blesses you in some way and if you know someone that you feel like needs to hear this i, don't, I honestly don't know why god let this on my heart why i've been feeling like i mean i've been feeling like this i'm sure a lot of people have been feeling like this but I feel like there's a reason that there's someone that needs to hear this. So if you know someone that you know is dealing with anxiety or just being overwhelmed with everything going on in this world, I ask that you share this with them. Um, yeah, have a blessed day.